Since its announcement during Disney's Investor's Day in 2020, the Acolyte has been one of the most mysterious upcoming Star Wars projects, with little being known regarding the series other than Leslie Headland show running this series, which is set during the final stage of the High Republic. Multiple castings have been reported over the summer, and now we've officially gotten confirmation from Lucasfilm regarding those reports as well as many other details. Alongside the previously announced Amanda Stenberg, the upcoming Star Wars series will feature Emmy Award winner Lee Jung Jae from Squid Game, Manny Jacinto from The Good Place, Daphne King from Logan, Jodie Turner Smith from Queen and Slim, Rebecca Henderson from Inventing Anna, Charlie Burnett from Russian Doll, Dean Charles Chapman from 1917, and what is likely the biggest announcement from the article, Carrie Ann Moss from The Matrix. Lucasfilm President Kathleen Kennedy, Simon Emanuel, Jeff F. King, and Jason McAuliffe will serve as its executive producers while Rain Roberts and Damian Anderson are producing. The article describes The Acolyte as a mystery thriller that will explore a galaxy of shadowy secrets and emerging dark side powers in the final days of the High Republic era. Moreover, its first story details revealed that a former Padawan will reunite with her Jedi Master to investigate a series of crimes, but the forces they confront are more sinister than they ever anticipated. A behind-the-scenes photo was also revealed, showing Leslie Headland, who will also direct its pilot episode, giving instructions to Lee and Stenberg on the set of the upcoming series. Lucasfilm also confirmed that the production for the Acolyte has begun in the UK, which is in line with the previous report from Budsman Bulletin that filming began in Sheinfeld Studios in Berkshire. I'll admit that the official series description doesn't get me as excited as I had hoped, but getting confirmation regarding the cast is now what is making me look forward to the series even more. I had expected a story along the lines of what the description says, where the Jedi accidentally stumble upon a dark side threat as we transition into the Republic we see in The Phantom Menace. But I was not prepared for stars like Carrie Ann Moss or Daphne Keene to be joining the Star Wars universe. While the cast includes a few popular actors and actresses within the industry, I'm only familiar with a few of them, and I've only ever seen Carrie Ann Moss in action before. So the series will be doing what Star Wars has always done, bringing smaller names that only select fandoms are familiar with to the main spotlight. The Acolyte still sits around the middle of the list when it comes to my most anticipated Star Wars projects, but I'm sure that will quickly change once we get our first teaser for the series which will more than likely come around April of next year, which is when Celebration will take place in London. Let me know how excited this makes you for the Acolyte in the comments below. Remember to like the video, and subscribe for more news like this, and remember to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Thank you all for watching, and remember, the Force will be with you, always.